Hello and welcome to this uh, uh, screencast on future value. Uh, we'll briefly take a look at what is future value. Let's say you have a thousand dollars and you are putting this in the bank and uh, at a 5% interest rate and let's say you leave it in the bank for six years. So what will be the amount that you'll have at the end of the six years? So that will be your current value times one plus the interest rate raised to the power six and that will be about one thousand three hundred and forty dollars so one thousand three hundred and forty and ten cents is the future value of a thousand dollars today at five percent interest rate six years from now now excel provides a future value formula now Let's take a look at that. Um, <clears throat> it goes by FV. Okay, FV stands for future value, and it has a bunch of parameters. It has an interest rate. We understand that 10% in a previous example. NPER. NPER refers to the number of periods over which a certain fixed amount of money is being paid out. Now, this is different from the previous example. Um, and then there is a PMT. PMT is the amount of payment that is being paid out on a month, on a periodic basis. PV is the present value, the cash that you have today. Usually um, it's probably zero or it could be some positive amount. And type refers to um, whether this periodic payment is being made at the beginning of the period or the end of the period. So let's take a look at a simple example let's say you have um, a bunch of years one two three four five and let's say you're being uh, paid some amount of say thousand dollars um, in each of these periods now at the end of the five years, how much will you have? So let's actually calculate this manually first, and then I'll uh, discuss how we can use the future value function of Excel to compute this automatically. So I'm just going to write opening balance. This is what you have to start with. And then you deposit $1,000 at the start of the first year. And then you have a uh, closing balance, uh, interest rate, interest payment. Now let's say your interest rate is, is say 10%. Okay. So then your interest rate will be the sum of the opening balance plus your deposit times your interest rate. And I'm just going to make this log this up here. Um, just put a dollar sign before the C and the one so that if I copy this formula all the way down, the interest rate value will remain at C1. And then so you receive receive a hundred dollar interest rate on your balance, and finally you have your closing balance. And that is the sum of all the three items. Now, 1100 will be your opening balance at the start of the second year. And again, you are receiving a deposit of $1,000 and the interest rate will be, the interest amount will be now $210 because you have 1100 plus 1000, that's 2100 and 10% of that is 210. And your closing balance will be the sum of all three. And now let me just copy paste these guys here. And so you have finally $6,715.61 after being paid out $1,000 once every year at the start of the year at a 10% interest rate. Now this is what can be calculated using the future value function of Excel. Your interest rate will be 10% C1. The number of periods is five because it's five years. The payment is $1,000. The present value is zero. And the type is one because we are 
receiving this payment at the beginning of each period and you can see that the figure here is 6715 same as this one here with the difference that this one here is negative the reason it's negative is because future value is um, you can think of it as um, if let us say if your if your bank is receiving all these monies on your behalf it will pay out this money at the end so the direction of cash flow is in one direction here and it's in the opposite direction here so if this is positive then this is negative and accountants denote negative figures by you know parenthesis and the red color so that's why it's uh, written in negative but the figure itself is the same 6715.61 so if you began with a zero dollar deposit and let's say zero dollar bank balance and let's say you're depositing a thousand dollars every year uh, at the start of the year then you will receive you will have this much money left at the end of the five years so that is what the future value function does for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you